I don't know about you guys, but Married with Children has been my favorite family sitcom of all time. It's hilarious, it's cynical, it has Al Bundy and Peg, and also one of my favorite characters that's called Kelly Bundy, an airhead party girl who thinks everything that can be learned through a date or a movie. So today we're going to recreate her 80s style look with matte, smoky eye, and a very bold red lip. So let's check it out. Kelly Bundy has very very light brows, so I have to change my brow cutter. I'm using this very light brow gel that can cover my natural brow cutter and turn it into a very blonde cutter. So basically, I'm gonna look like Mona Lisa for, for the beginning, but it's okay. We're gonna we're gonna retouch that later. Okay. And after that, I'm going to use the angle brush and using a pretty light brown eyeshadow and reshape my brows in the shape of Kelly Bundy. She has pretty thick brows, but at the same time, very defined and has a very de uh, defined shape. This is one brow done, and afterwards I thought that my brows are still looking too light, so I'm using this uh, e.l.f. palette and using this uh, darker brown to only retouch the tail of my brows so it looks more uh, 3D. And also creating a natural transition. So I'm gonna move on to this Maybelline Cutter Tattoo Eyeshadow Cream. It is such a good product, it is so creamy, and it just stays on your eyes for a whole day, and it doesn't come off. So I'm using this very um, faint brown, and I'm just using it as a base, although it's very shimmery, and believe me, later when we put the matte cutters on, it's gonna turn all matte. But this is such a good base, every cutter is gonna stay right on. So I'm gonna put that all over my two lids, as a base and afterwards I'm going to use this fat eyeshadow brush and using naked palette to uh, the cutter tees and I'm gonna dab a little bit and work it on my eyelids I'm going to basically emphasize on the outer corner of my eye and work its way in and create a little bit of a deepened effect on my crease so I'm gonna use a lot of blending so that it looks natural and it looks like your natural eyelid cutter. I'm gonna keep blending on the outer corner and then working it into my crease so that it makes my eye look deeper. I have Asian eyes and this look is pretty challenging for me. And to create a look like Kelly Bundy uh, needs a lot of contouring and highlighting. And afterwards, I'm going to take this uh, warm brown and using the same brush but on the other side and just brush that over my crease to smoothen out the brown that I previously put so that it has a natural transition into my uh, brow bone but I'm just putting it very widely in my crease but under my brow bone and after that I'm using the fat end, uh, flat end again and using the same warm cutter and redefining my crease to deepen that part Okay, I'm gonna change and use this kind of purplish brown cutter uh, with a warm tone and using that to go over the outer corner of my eye and a little bit of the first half of my crease so that it looks like my eyes are even more deeper and more, looks more westernized. So you can see I, I'm using a lot of blending. Afterwards, using the same cutter tees and re-blending over the cutters that I've just put before so that the cutters can um, melt very easily together and it looks pretty natural. And afterwards, I'm going to use this very light, uh, almost like wheat cutter and just patting that using my fingertips, patting that on the my lid, my whole lid and also on my brow bones to bring these two parts out. So it looks like I actually have a socket, but oh, I faked it out. So these are the two eyeshadows uh, done. And I'm using the same angle brush and using this uh, black cutter on the palette. And just using that to extend the crease that I've just created. And extending that and curving that right before my nose bridge to create a fake double lid. 
I am Asian and I have a mono lid, but Candy Bundy has a very thick double lid, so I have to fake that. It looks very harsh in the beginning, but after that, I'm going to use the other side of the blending brush, and then using a brown cutter and also a little bit of black cutter to recreate that crease, so it looks more natural now. Good. Now I'm going to take out this black eye liner and just first I'm water, just lining my waterline and then afterwards I'm going slowly working onto the outer corner of my eye and then making the liner on my outer corner on the wing a little bit thicker because Kelly has kind of a foxy eye and she has a, like a like upward wing on the on the outside so I am keeping uh, the line on the inside, on the inner corner, pretty thin, but slowly making the lines on the outer corner a bit uh, thicker and thicker as you go. And also winging it a little bit upwards, but not too much. Okay. And after that, I'm going to use this uh, eyeshadow brush and using uh, some brown color and then re -going, going back and forth through where I put the eyeliner to smoothen now the look and also extending the thicker part a little bit more far out actually I'm using a brown and black to deepen my eyes and also smoothening out my eyeliner and now these are the two eyeliners done and I'm going to use mascara and as always I'm going to use two coats of mascara because I have very thin uh, and sparse eye eyelashes so I'm just go, going over all my lashes with these two kinds of mascara. And I still felt the need to use some falsies. I'm going to use this natural falsie that's kind of uh, sparse and long, but I'm going to cut them in half and only put that on the outer corner, uh, on the outer corner of my eyes, at the, at the end, at the window of my eyes. So these are the eyes done and we're going to move on to contouring. Using this concealer palette and using the darkest color, to uh, contour my cheeks because Kelly Bundy has very deep hollows on both sides of her cheeks so I'm just gonna dab a little bit on both sides of my cheeks and then rub them with my fingers smoothen them out so they looks like my face looks a bit slimmer all right after that I am going to go over where I put the darkest concealer with uh, some contour powder and then using the same palette and using the lightest color on the palette to do some highlighting. She has very uh, deep hollows and also has very high cheekbones. So I'm going to put those on my cheekbones to highlight. And then I'm, use, I'm using this orange blush from Makeup Forever and just put it a little bit on my both of my cheeks. And I'm going to use this new lipstick that I just bought from Maybelline that's uh, matte. It has a velvet texture and it's so smooth and the color is just so right, it's so 80s. I'm using this very red color and uh, as usual uh, creating a little cross on my upper lip and then working its way down. At the beginning it's a little bit hard to uh, define the shape of my lower lip exactly but it's fine we're gonna deal with that later so after that I'm gonna use this uh, brush this lip cutter brush and just go over the lower lip to make sure the shape is good to finish the look I didn't use any spray or hair gel I just decided to shake my hair like a crazy person and just create that kind of a crazy and puffy hairstyle from the 80s that uh, Kelly Bundy usually wears in the show uh, because I am going to color my hair back to black, so this is my last tutorial with blonde hair, so I decided to do uh, Kelly Bundy. This is the finished look, and I also found some outfit that uh, fits her style with tassels, like this leather jacket, leather vest with some tassels, and also this uh, vest and a uh, high-waisted skirt. Hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching, and good luck. Bye.